Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on the parts of the guitar. Today we're going to be talking about a few things. We're going to talk about picks and how to properly hold a pick to use on the guitar. We're going to talk about the various things on the guitar so that you know what we're talking about when we use those ter that terminology in class. And then I want to show you two different types of guitars, which is what we're going to begin with today. The guitar that I'm currently holding is, um, it has a few different names, steel string acoustic, um, acoustic guitar, flat top guitar. Now, characteristic of this guitar, it's usually a hollow body guitar, which means that there's space inside. So if you look, there's just empty space. Another big characteristic is that it has steel strings all the way through. So I'll get close so maybe you can see what's going on. The bottom strings here, you can see that they're silver, and that's just a, a steel core. Now, as you get to the lower sounding strings, the thicker ones, they have a um, kind of a reddish, orangish, goldish color on the outside. And all it is is one of these steel strings that's been wrapped to make it sound a lot lower, right? And then this is the top, so the regular tuning pegs and the tuning mechanism. It's on the guitar. So this is just a regular acoustic guitar. Um, hollow body is usually what we go for when we talk about it. The other type of guitar that you'll probably see in this class, the one that I use most often, is a classical guitar. And this is what it looks like. Now, you may have noticed that this little cutout here is, is part of this guitar, but that really doesn't tell us the difference between the two. You can see the, the acoustic guitar, which was the first, with the cutout or without. Um, it just depends upon what kind of guitar you purchase. The biggest difference between this, there's two, are the, the types of strings. So a classical guitar has nylon strings on the bottom. So I'll get close. You might not be able to tell through the video, but um, these strings down here where the steel strings were on the acoustic, they're made of nylon, kind of a plastic type material. And then the other big difference is that the, the fretboard or the neck of the guitar is a lot wider, right? So if you remember, it's uh, probably that distance, right, for the acoustic, but this one's a lot wider which I find easier to play, but I have, I have slightly larger hands. So it just, it just depends upon what you're, what you're comfortable with. Now, the parts of the guitar, there's a few things, and at some point you'll probably want to see a test on this. So just refer back to this as you need it. If you forget something, go watch the video again. Easy enough, right? So starting at the very top, this section, right? So this square section right here is called the head of the guitar or headstock. Either of those two, head or headstock. Now the headstock has a bunch of different parts on it. Um, probably the most important is this right here. These, there are six of them, right? Six of them, tuning pegs. Now on the acoustic guitar, the tuning pegs, instead of sticking out of the back like this, they stick out of the stop, right? So they come out of the stop. But we have the headstock, which is that square part. Then there are six tuning pegs, one, two, three, four, five, six, for the six strings on the guitar. Working our way down, Headstock, tuning pegs, this white bar right here. Now, it's not the same color on every guitar, but this white bar is called the nut. And usually, not usually, but sometimes if you take the strings off a guitar, it's free free moving. Um, some of them have them glued down. It really just depends upon what kind of guitar you get. So headstock, tuning pegs, and then nut. All right, working our way down. This section, right, so all this part right here, um, where it attaches to the, the bottom part of the guitar and then the front going down into the guitar, we call it the neck of the guitar, right? So just like our bodies, the head is at the top, then our neck connects it to the rest of us, right? Headstock, tuning pegs, nut, and then neck. On top of the neck, right, this part right here, all on the front of the guitar, we call it the fretboard, right? So all of these put together is the fretboard. Now, the fretboard is made up of a bunch of different frets, and the frets are, we know that it's a fret if it's between two fret wires. So this fret wire is this little silver piece that goes down across the neck or the fretboard. So between the nut and the first fret wire, that would be our first fret or fret number one. Between these two fret wires, it's fret number two and so forth, right? So we have a bunch of frets all the way down the neck of the guitar. All right. As we move down, so head was at the top, the neck, the largest part of the guitar here, the part that we hold in our laps most often, this is called the body of the guitar, right? The body of the guitar. Now, the body of the guitar, 
depending upon what type of guitar you're using, has a cutout here called the tone, T-O-N-E, hole. Okay, tone hole. And that's just where the, whenever you play the strings, it bounces around inside of the instrument, and then what comes out is the sound that you're hearing. All right, so tone hole, tone hole. Body, all of this section, and then tone hole is here. Okay, as we move down, this is called the bridge of the guitar, this section down here, and it's where the strings are attached. That's another difference I should probably point out. If you look at the bottom of the, um, the classical guitar, you can see that they're tied, right? So we've tied the strings. Um, and that's just the way that a lot of classical guitars work. If you look at the acoustic, which I'll, I'll try to pull it up here in just a second, but the strings usually just run through the bottom of the bridge and it's like got a, a washer on the end to hold it in. So they're not tied. Okay, so we have headstock here at the top. Then we have tuning pegs, nut. Sometimes they're white, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're whatever color. This whole section here is called the neck of the guitar. On top of the neck is the fretboard. Between two fret wires is a fret, right? So first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, and so on. The body of the guitar, tone hole, tone hole, um, bridge of the guitar, right? And that's where we attach the strings. Now, one other thing I'm going to show you on the acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar has a pick guard. And you can probably see that there's a piece of plastic on it just to protect it. But this is the pick guard because usually you use a pick more often on the flat top or the acoustic guitar. For the, the classical, most of the time people use their, their fingers, right? So the five digits to play them. But for the, the regular acoustic, we usually use a pick. All right, so it has a pick guard just to protect the body from getting messed up. All right, so those are the parts of the guitar. Now, in this class, you'll need to use a pick. Um, it can really be any kind of pick you want. I've seen people use a variety of things. As long as it's safe for the guitar, it's, it's acceptable, right? But this pick is um, 0.88 millimeters. I don't know if you can, you can see it. It says it at the top. And it's just, it's a Duraflex pick. Now, it doesn't matter what brand they are, but usually I go for 0.88 just because I like that thickness, right? So the 0.88 is talking about how flexible it is. If you get something lower than 0.88, it'll bend more. And some people like that. If you go higher than 0.88, it's more stiff. But this is usually what I get. Now, I hold the pick between my thumb and my first finger, and usually at kind of an angle, right? So if my thumb is if my thumb is vertical, usually I have the pick pointing over to the side. And that just it's going to be a personal preference. As long as you're holding the pick and you're able to hit the strings, you should be good to go. All right. So today we talked about two different types of guitar guitars the regular acoustic guitar or steel string guitar. And then we talked about the nylon string classical guitar. There's also electric, but we can cover that a little bit later. Then we went over the parts of the guitar, which just one more time. Headstock, this part of the top or head. Tuning pegs, nut. This whole section here, front and back is called the neck. On top is the fretboard, which is made up of frets. A fret happens between the nut and the fret wire or between fret wires, so one, two, three, and so forth. Then we get to the body, which is the big section here. Tone hole, which is the cutout. Bridge down here, and you can see the, the strings are different, right? They're pushed into the bottom instead of tied. And then we have a pick guard on the acoustic guitar because we use the pick more often on a regular acoustic guitar. So hope this has been helpful. Um, just refer back to the video if you need some, um, just a, a refresher, right? Thanks.